Okay, so in an earlier video, I showed the unpacking of this COVID-19 test. What I'm now going to do is, um, with the kit, come some um, alcohol swabs. Um, I've actually, I've just been um, trying this one out my finger as it is, but and I'm just going to kind of clean up a little bit. And um, what I'll do then is I will take um, the needle that comes with it. Uh, and I'll just put my finger. So I'm sort of uh, massaging the blood out a little bit here. So I'll do that. Um, there's a window on the device called S. The S means um, sample. What I'll do is, there's a pipette that comes with a system. Oops. So I'm gonna just try and get that window filled with blood. Might put a bit more on. Right, now what I'll do is I will take two drops. So this is a, um, it's basically a lateral flow device. So I put two drops on there. And now what's gonna happen is that solution um, that I just put it on travels up the um, sensor and um, it picks up my sample and it starts carrying my sample up so um, if I just tilt it slightly towards you what I'll do is I'm just going to start the what the start watch as well because I want to kind of have a look at this after two minutes so you can see if you watch this video back that um, there's kind of a pinkiness comes up which is basically my blood being drawn up and it goes up the strip and the last one at the end is actually the control so that just basically means a con um, the C stands for control it's a kind of quality control make sure that the, um, the device is actually working correctly and the control has um, it's basically kind of um, you know it's had a, a, a color change so that tells me that um, you know the device itself is actually working and then as i say i should really kind of read i, sh I should read this I'm, I'm tracking the time so that i'm not gonna you know after 15 minutes you shouldn't be interpreting the results so i can see that the control has gone quite um pinkish i'll put some photographs up of this as well so you can kind of see that um in fact what i'll do is i'll just slightly tilt um the device towards so at the moment I've gone pink, um, so the control is working, but then I'm looking for some new bands, let's see, for the G and the M. And the G and the M have not um, done any bands yet. So basically I'm proving that, um, that actually, you know, I, I, I have, I'm basically, if neither of them changes color, um, then I'm, um, I basically, negative which means i haven't um i haven't in the so far had the virus and i haven't so far therefore developed the um, antibodies towards the virus um so you know so that's so if i have to summarize what we have here um we have a covid19 test um i've put a drop of blood onto it you saw me do my finger um earlier on I put the drop of blood onto the little um, window here and then you saw that I put sort of two drops of um, solution here and then um, you saw then that the liquid basically travels up, it picks up my blood let's say and then it carries it up to the viewing window and as long as I get that kind of red band at C that tells me that the control is okay and therefore the sensor is kind of working, or the lateral flow device is working but as you can see so far, no, um, nothing on GNM, and I'll leave I'll leave that running for a few minutes, and um, we'll see if anything happens. 
but I have a quite strong suspicion that in fact nothing's going to happen and in fact um, it proves that I'm sort of negative that I haven't um, I haven't um, had the virus or I haven't acquired any immunity towards the virus. And basically you shouldn't you shouldn't be interpreting the results after more than 15 minutes. So my, my kind of my kind of recommendation is if I let this go to five minutes um, and I still haven't developed any, you know, any kind of colored bands on GNM, then I can kind of assume that um, I am a negative in terms of I haven't um, I don't have a I haven't built up an immunological response to the virus, which tells me that I probably haven't had the virus. But it is quite a simple test to do. The whole kind of procedure has, you know, taken me from opening to testing has taken me really less than three minutes. Uh, most of the time I've just been talking. Um, pricking my finger, it wasn't painful. Um, you know, I sort of, it's a little micro needle or a little needle and I obviously pricked my finger with that and I had to get the little blood using the pipette, which I dropped into that window there. And then you saw that I actually took some of this buffer solution and just dropped it on here, two drops, and then that wicked up the device and um, I didn't get any um, color changes. All right, so we'll let it go a few more minutes, or well, not a few more minutes, a few more seconds. Test the device. So, so far, um, no color changes. And I would say that, you know, it would be clear you would, you should be having a response like the G and the M. So it's probably safe to say that I am a negative. Um, and what I can do then with this test is I can kind of purely check myself. So I'll have known when I've actually had it because you're not sure at this moment whether you've had it or, you know, if I had it and got over it, but this really helps answer those kind of questions. Okay. So we'll round it off there and any questions, um, yeah, please look in the comments below. Take care.